Notes.txt. Hey, how's it going? This is Keith back here with you again. And in this video, I want to show you how to download and install Python 3.8. Two things to note before we get started. One thing is I will be using, I will have my screen reader unmuted for this entire video. In a prior video, I said that I would not unmute it unless it became necessary. And what I mean is, is that I can hear it and you can't. So, um, but whenever I do want you to be able to hear it, I can let you hear it and then you can follow along with the screen reader. So, um, the second thing to note is that we, this install is simple. The setup is easy. And one thing we want to make sure is we check the checkbox to add Python to the path variable. So, um, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. So <clears throat> the first thing is, is I'm going to copy this link and paste it into Google Chrome. I will put this link in the description below. This is the link to download Python um, 3.8.2 for Windows. So, or a Windows version because it also gives you the option to do Mac as well. So blank. HTTPS code. I'm going to copy this over. H HTTP. Start window. Address and search bar edit. Paste it in. 100%. 0%. Python release Python 3.8. Navigation. All right, we're loaded up. So what we're going to do now is this is laid out a little differently. The link is actually in a table. Um, I believe it's six or seven rows down. So I'm going to tell you how Links I navigate to it. This is also um, used in JAWS as well. So It'll work there as two. So what I do is I go to the top of my page and then I hit T for table. Main landmark table with 11 rows and six columns row one. You'll hear it puts you into a table, um, into the header and the first uh, column and first row. So um, there's 11 columns, six or 11 rows, six columns. To navigate, we're going to navigate this first column by row. And then we're going to do that by holding down alt control and pressing the down arrow. And we are looking for Windows X86-64 executable. Row 2 link zip. Row 3 link XC compress. Row 4 link Mac OS 64 dash bit installer. Row 5 link Windows help file. Row 6 link Windows X86. Row 7 link Windows X86-64 executable installer. Okay, there it is. So it's in row 7. We're going to hit enter on that. Downloading 26.3 megabytes, comma. Python dash 3.8.2 dash AMD 64 left paren. One right paren. Dot exe alert. Download complete colon. Python. All right, we're here downloaded. It's complete. So I'm going to navigate to my downloads folder in the file explorer. File explorer window. D. Downloads check. Downloads. All right, so it's going to be the first one here. Python 3.8.2 AMD. All right, so. Today left paren. Python 3.8.2 AMD 64 left paren. One right paren. Dot exe check one of ten. All right, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back to you whenever it's finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter on this. It's going to pull up um, the Windows Store. It's going to, or the Microsoft Store. It's going to look for it there. And when it doesn't find it, I'm just going to press install anyway. And then once it comes up, I will come back. Window dialog. On window. Store experience host window. The app you tick retrying to install ISA. Main landmark. And get apps from store. Install and downloads window. Unknown. Python 3.8.2 left paren, 64 dash bit right paren, setup. Install now button C colon backslash users backslash Keith Blackwelder backslash app data backslash local. Okay, so it pulls up the setup. It announces this window. Um, we can tab through this window. It tells you where it's going to put the Python executable. And then um, we're going, so let's tab through. Customize installation button choose. You can customize. This is for if you are using Python uh, a specific version for something specific or you and you know what you're doing you come in and you customize choosing what gets downloaded and what doesn't so as far as packages and things like that so I'm going to tab again add Python 3.8 to path checkbox not check all right it says add Python 3.8 to path this we definitely want to check space this is check. what I mentioned in the beginning custom add Python 3.8 to path checkbox check all plus B Cancel button Alt plus. Select install now to install Python with default settings, comma, or choose customize. Install now button C. All right, so now we can press install now. Cancel button Alt plus C. 30%. 40%. 50%. 
50%. We're waiting. Um, 60%. There it goes. It takes a minute. Seventy percent. Eighty percent. Almost there. Ninety percent. Should be about done. Takes a little extra time at the end. Python 3.8.2 left paren, 64 dash bin right paren, setup. Python 3.8.2 left paren, 64 dash bin right paren, setup. Setup progress. Graphic. 100%. There it is. Unavailable. Disable path length limit button changes your machine configuration to allow programs, comma, including Python, comma, to bypass the 260 character quote max line path quote limitation dot. So I'm gonna close but disable path length limit button space. Secure desktop. We're not gonna do Python 3.8. Close button alt plus C. Because we don't we don't need to. I've never had to. I figured I'd click on it and see what it would pull up, but if it's pulling up my security, I don't I don't wanna change it unless I need to if that ever becomes something we need to go back and change I'll do a video on it and we'll I'll show you how to manually do it so from here you can just press close top close downloads window all right so if you watched the prior video to this one we downloaded git bash um, if you did not and you already have a command line tool you would like to use you can open it now um, uh, a Windows command line or PowerShell's fine. And then, so I'm going to open Git Bash. I just press the start key, the start menu, and then just type in G I. Git Bash, comma, G -I -T. comma, press Git Bash, comma, press C colon comma. backslash Windows backslash system 30, Keith Black Welder at Windows Ming. All right, so now we are in our terminal on our command line. So from here to check if Python was installed correctly, you want to type Python, P -Y -T all lowercase, H -O -N, space. space, and then dash, dash, and capital V, as in Victor, Cap -V. or version in this case. Python 3.8.2. Okay, and you should hear the message Python 3.8.2. So I'm going to press the 7 key on my numpad to move up a line in this terminal. No indent key, black welder at Windows, 120 space blank. No indent Python 3.8.2. Dollar Python dash V. Okay, so right here you hear dollar Python dash V. That's what we typed in was Python dash V. And then if I move down a line with 9 on the numpad. Python 3.8.2. Python 3.8.2. So we do see that it is installed. So this concludes this video. Um... In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get Visual Studio Code and the screen reader set up for uh, programming with Python. And then after that, we will start our first video, which will be the introduction to Python, um, numbers, and variables. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you um, were able to install everything correctly. If you were not or you had any problems that we didn't come up with here, then please give me a comment below and I, I'm i in the process of creating an email for this YouTube account to allow you to get to me personally to be able to um, ask questions, especially if you run into any problems. And um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and if you're new here, subscribe. And if you've been here before, but haven't su subscribed, subscribe and click that bell. That way, so we can um, make sure that you get every video that we upload. So um, have a great day and thank you for watching.
Download Python notes.txt OBS download OBS 60 starts stopper.